paper. Well, if you're looking to make a few extra bucks, mm -hmm. selling your old clothes to a consignment store could be a good way to do it. Yeah, but there are some tricks to getting the most money for your old duds. Our consumer expert, Amy Davis, is here to share the advice from the consignment inside. Yeah, yeah you and I were just talking about this yesterday. I'm terrible like, yeah, at this I mean, whole you consignment know, I go, thing. And they're like, oh, sorry, nothing sold. Yeah. I find that hard to believe, Rachel McNeil, that no one bought your clothes. Mm. But okay, so for everyone else listening, think of yourself as a store. You're selling clothes to someone else, so how you present the items makes a big difference. Consignment shops like Plato's Closet sell items for 70% off the original retail value, and you, the seller, get 30 to 40% of that. So how can you go from this, and we're offering you $2.80, to this? Uh, I've actually had to buy over $1,000 before. Tip number one, buyers generally only accept items that have been sold in retail stores within the past year to year and a half. That five-year-old sweater you want to sell probably won't make the cut. Two, don't bring your clothes in a huge trash bag. It's a lot harder for buyers to sift through. The Victoria's Secret bags, those are pretty easy because they're like square, so it's easier to fold your items up. Um, and boxes are pretty easy because they're easy to stack and stay out of the way. Three, keep any price tags on. Consignment stores grade clothes based on wear, style, and age. So if the price tags are on, it shows you haven't even worn it yet. Four, call ahead to see what they're looking for. So it's easier to just let people know we're looking for these items. So you definitely want to bring those in. Now another tip is to put the cutest or trendiest clothes on top of your stack. It makes yeah. the buyer excited to go through the rest. And so I don't know, how do you purge? Because they had a good idea for that. Oh, how do so you I decide? purge like twice a year. If I haven't worn it in a year, with the exception of like special occasion clothes, yeah. then I do, I have to, I say, Goodbye. So they say go through your closet, put a clothespin on each thing, and then take the clothespin off when you wear it. And if you haven't worn it in six months, sell it. Six months, but six that's months, but we I have seasons. We don't have seasons right, here, so exactly that is not fair. The shirt I wore yesterday, I think I hadn't worn in a year, but maybe yeah. I shouldn't have. Right. <laughs> I, I loved it. I thought Thank it was so you. cute. Yeah. No, I think a, a, six months is pretty tight, Amy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You could all pick right, your I'm year. I'm thinking about it. All right. like, oh, I have nothing to add. <laughs> At all. Well, I'm sure you do with I suits just take my and stuff ties to and all that stuff. That's, yeah. just, that's my thing is I don't yeah. do the consignment. I just take it on a Goodwill. But Owen wears it's right like thread I and bear. I wear it until it's destroyed. <laughs> and then I take it to Goodwill. Uh. No, that's not. They I, can I do some 